Mr. Nicholas J. Fuentes. Welcome back to the kill stream, sir. Hello. Can you hear me? Yep. What's up? Hey, what's going on? Nothing much, man. How you been? Been all right. Been uh, taking it easy, you know. I'm uh, still recovering, but I'm hanging in there. Well, I uh, hope you're feeling better. Yeah, I know you got. In the, is that from the car wreck? Yeah, yeah, I have a couple. Yeah, broken bones. So I didn't realize been... how nasty that was at first. I was sorry to hear that. I've been in a couple wrecks, so sorry about that. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate that. Yeah, um, you know about the whole drama today. It's just disappointing, I suppose, because it's another case of people who I've gone out of my way for and really shown nothing but loyalty and generosity turning around and not reciprocating that or not paying that back. It's uh, this, that one way street thing is really frustrating. You know what I mean? Yeah, actually (laughs) I do. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Unfortunately uh, I can say that I do. Yeah. So I, 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 everybody saw the stream earlier, probably or seen clips of it by now. And um, obviously, some Vake said some things, and uh, you know, and it's my opinion. I said this openly already. The big tech's kind of setting it up, and you know, being a little bit subversive element there, um, and has been for a while. But um, still, you know, he, you know, Bake said what he said. So um, I don't know what were your, what were your thoughts. Obviously, you, there was a text message you sent him, and. He said there was. I don't know. (laughs) Well, you know, uh, it's just that it's pretty rich uh, because for the past, like, what is it, five years or something? I mean, I've literally lost friends over this guy, like, refusing to say anything negative. It's actually somebody brought up. That's the origin story for Teddy Feaser. I mean, are you familiar with that? (laughs) Yes. Super chat. Yeah. That was that whole yeah. Where uh, he said you needed story. to drop back. So I'll tell people by the way. He sent in a super chat and basically was like, "Hey, you know, you need to get, cut ties with Bag. This is a bad look. What are you doing?" Or, or something like that. And Nick said, "Hey, you know, I need to cut ties with you. You're faggot, basically." And uh, <laughs> did that. <laughs> and then Feaser, this happens to me too, where you just block somebody or you do something offhanded like that, and they turn into. Like psychopaths and stalk you for years and years, um, so yeah, that's happened to me too, actually before. But um, yeah, I, I'm familiar with that origin story, and it was because of Baked Alaska, yeah. Well, and there's a lot of cases <laughs> like that. I mean, I remember I was really good friends with this guy Sharia. You may remember Sharia LaBeouf was his name, yeah. and he's an old head. He was there at Charlottesville. I think I may have met him there, and. And I had seen him a lot of times at those early events. And back a few years ago, he was one of the many people making a big stink about the IRL content and saying, he bear maced uh, a bouncer. He, he disrespected the working class by going after a gas station attendant or he attacked a Burger King cashier. And I literally stopped being friends with this dude. Now he was being gay about it, but I literally stopped being friends with him because he couldn't let that go. And I went on a stream and debated him about it. Okay. Well, what did he actually do? Well, how was it that bad? Um, and again, it's a guy I'd known for at that time, maybe four years. He had been there from the beginning tight with all my close friends. Um, because I went on a debate sticking up for that kind of thing. And then even recently, like with Alex Stein, Alex Stein, I know you don't like him. I know he, uh, you know, he's feuding with some of us, me and him were good. I mean, we were friends and everything. And then, well, that kind of, and then somebody, that happened to, that yeah, got, go I, I was just gonna say, I got caught up in that too, really, uh, where the, <laughs> that ended up like catching me, you know, uh, because of that text. And then he started getting more and more hostile Stein towards just like, this area of the internet, and I feel like that was kind of like the start of the beginning of the end. But I will say this. He did message me, by the way, and was nice and, and said uh, some nice things. And so, um, I you know, I tried to bury that one. I'm, I'm not really trying to feud with him. I'll just say that. 
Uh, he said some nice things, so I was trying to be on a truce with him. I, I'll just announce that. I don't know if I said that publicly, but yeah, he was. He said some nice things, so he was happy to see me getting better and so. Well, and there's really no reason there should be animosity between me and him or Groypers and him, but there's one person, and basically that person is entirely at fault for sabotaging that relationship, basically on a false pretense. I mean, the the text message was fake, right? You remember that? Yeah, but Marjorie Green, Alex Stein text, that was fake. But that snowballed into now Alex Stein, everywhere he goes, he has bad things to say about Groypers because of a feud he has with one person. And I'm getting in a fight with Alex Stein over text saying, you know, you, you should let it go. You should drop it, blah, blah, blah. Going And it goes back to the alt-right apology video, which is manufactured by Ashton Witte. And it's just like time and time and time and time again, like over and over and over. You have just like unimaginably stupid shit. Even recently, the plea deal. Now, I feel the same way today about the plea deal as I did a year ago, but it's not my job to go out there and do PR and say as much as I did on Telegram or on my show, oh, the, the plea deal's no big deal. He's under a lot of pressure, blah, blah, blah. So it's like how many examples do you have to come up with over a five-year period where – and that, but by the way, but that's what loyalty means to me. If you're my friend, if you're my nigga – then I got your back and you don't got to worry about me. Even if, even if you're in the wrong, that's what people need to understand. That's even if you are, even if everybody in the world is saying you're in the wrong loyalty means you don't have to worry looking over your back that somebody's going to go in public and throw you under the bus or bad mouth you or pop off or spout off like a fucking asshole irresponsibly. Um, because that's what that means to me. And you know, and I, but, and I'm willing to do that sort of thing because that's my value. You know, that's a, an important value to me is that loyalty matters. Um, and, and what was the criticism for so long? I remember for years, the criticism on the show was like, oh, you're, you're friends with terrible people. You're friends with people that do this, that, and the other. And I'd always say, well, I don't disavow my friends, you know? So, so that, I mean, that's really the only thing the only thing that I have to say about it is it just gets very tiresome. Um, you know, because that's already happened to me so many times in the past with other people. And it's like, you do something for them, you do something for them. you do, And it almost becomes like a parasitic relationship because at, at some point it's like, you do so much for a person, they do nothing in return. And then when you stop supplying some sort of uh, advantage or you stop supplying some sort of benefit. And then all of a sudden they decide, Oh, well, uh, well now I'm, I've got my own, now I have my own opinion and now I don't, you know, now I got some stuff to say about you that you might not like, but yeah, you got to take that because, Hey man, I can say whatever I want and this and that. And it's not the first time it's happened before. And I'm sure it won't be the last, but it's just disappointing. You know, I feel like I don't deserve that, but, you know, what are your thoughts? I mean, you've witnessed well, the whole thing go down. You know, I, I, a couple things. You know, I think um, I hate to see it. You know, I yeah, I used to be obviously I had a well known feud with Baked, and it was pretty nasty. Um, and I got to know him, and you know, I I, I like to think he's a friend. Um, you know, um, but look, I saw the stream like everybody else, and I you know I didn't like I didn't like it. Um, I think part of it is the jail. Probably, it's different when you go to jail. Now, look, he was, I mean, how many days did he end up doing? I did eight months in jail um, when I was not as famous as I am now, not even close. Uh, and uh, it was very lonely. But uh, it was a lot longer. So I'm not diminishing his time. But, you know, I'll just say this. I He basically got out. I was going to mail him a letter, and I meant to, and I, I am sorry that I didn't. I think he might be hurt maybe by some stuff like that. Um which, I mean, I wasn't trying to ignore him. I hope he's not mad at me. I wasn't trying to ignore him. Literally, I just haven't mailed anything from Mexico. And uh, by the time, you know, I was like, okay, I'm going to do this. They said he was getting out next week. Also, I was dealing with my own, you know, personal demons kind of and wasn't really in my right <laughs> functions. And so I just didn't get a letter out. And, you know, I tried to welcome him back and all that stuff. And, you know, I don't know if he's hurt by some of that, but – um you know, I, again, you said it with the loyalty. I, you know, I, I, 
I don't want to, you know, throw him under the bus or anything, but, uh, you know, he said what he said, so I have to, you know, answer it. Um, I, I, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's right that he said that. No, uh, that should be something he should have said in, in private, at the very least, first. Um, uh, and uh, going on somebody's show and doing that is not a good idea. I don't understand why especially on their own website like i mean i don't i don't know that's uh that's kind of brazen um i i don't really um understand that i still love baked and you know i don't i don't want to see bad things happen to him or anything but uh i don't i don't get that and you said it with the loyalty i mean look loyalty is not about being there when things are good or things are great or things aren't choppy or there's not some drama or you're feeling bad or he didn't send this or text back that or send me a letter um loyalty's been there always like you said a lot of times and it's 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 uh not that you necessarily have to come out and say you agree with something somebody's doing but you know i i've never sat there and thought about you oh i gotta worry about nick's gonna denounce me or whatever or you know release something or you know go at me and that is something you got to think about in this business really because i've had it happen and people have tried to cut me off and just ruin me and absolutely i mean ruin my life life uh not just this the show and um you gotta have you gotta kind of have to be on guard uh and so when that kind of gets lost it's a little you know it can be hard to to build it back so you know it, i didn't like seeing it um i i don't know i i i think big tech kind of set it up too but um you know people gotta stand on their own words so i that that's kind of my thoughts on it and trying to be nice you know i, I don't want to pile on i know he's going to court and all that stuff but i you know i just don't i don't see why he would do that and, and you know i've noticed that he's allied with big tech the last couple of weeks um it doesn't really make sense to me because you know where's root and beards and all these people are his old friends and he hasn't said anything about me well that's why i'm you know i'm trying to be you know diplomatic but you know i just don't understand that really um unless he's just like mad at people for some reason um it just it doesn't really make sense so um it didn't escape my well, eye though that's you know what i mean like i, I can't help but notice it right uh that you're aligned with with big tech and um you know big tech's kind of going at, at a lot of my friends and you know i don't like that so th those are my thoughts i guess well he should go and stream on uh his own streaming website oh wait that didn't work. Uh, his own streaming website was a total failure. So he had to stream a show on my website where I pay for the bandwidth for years. Oh, but let's just forget about that. Yeah. Uh, no, but you can say, but, but speak freely. Yeah. You know, go around with the, um, you know, go around with whatever it is you have to say. You're your own man. You can, you can do whatever you want. Let's just forget about how, you couldn't stream on your own website because you can't build a fucking website. I mean, I had developers literally threatened to quit working on Cozy because he was going to be streaming on this platform because of his content. And it's like, <laughs> so if that isn't just the most rich thing in the world, I mean, to me, it's just totally black and white. It, they're just things you don't do. And uh, somebody that I've known for such a long time, somebody that I considered a friend for such a long time, but no longer uh, it's just something that is just totally unacceptable. So, you know, if people want to, if people want to debate it out or whatever, the, the issues or something you do, if you're friends with somebody, you do that in private. If you're on the same team, if you're on the same page, you do that in private. You don't go out. Nobody does that. And it's called family business. You know, when you're family, and especially when you're, and, and I don't think I'm using that term loosely. If you're, a ride or die friend of somebody for years. You consider yourself a part of it. You got my phone number. You text me, you know, I pick up the phone. Uh, you deal with that in private first. You don't go out and, ha and handle uh, disputes between people with that kind of affinity out there in public and do it that way. That's just, you know, well, at that point, then what, what's the, you know, you might as well then just be adversaries. You might as well just, so if that's how it's going to be, then, you know, okay, that's how it is. But, um, you know, but I expected a little bit of a different treatment from somebody like that. Although I shouldn't be surprised, but, um, you know, but I guess that's my fault. So, yeah, so it, it's, uh, it's a pretty nasty thing, but you know, the thing is about, 
people like big tech, which, you know, I don't hate big tech totally. I know you're not a fan. Well, I don't hate him. Uh, That's why I was trying to keep it above board with what I was saying earlier. Um, And, you know, I was trying to be fair there with what I said, but you know, it's, you know, I started out with, you got to say that in private. Right, like you have to come to somebody first in private with those kind of words, um, because that was, I mean, it was hostile. I don't know what to say, um, and I, you know, I, you can't argue with that. And so, um, but uh, big tech, I, you know, I don't hate him. I, you know, I don't despise him or anything. I just, what is he doing, right? Like, I mean, it's turned into an anti, like an almost an anti cozy channel on cozy. I mean, I don't know what to say. Like, um, that's my opinion, but um, you can. Give your thoughts, more importantly. <laughs> well, whatever you think about Big Tech, he is a character who it's actually super helpful because, you know, it's like you said earlier, Big Tech doesn't force people to say anything. Other other people don't force people to say things. But there are people who come into your life, they may be an extremely negative force, but what they do is they sort of reveal to you who your real friends are. And I've had that happen to be a not insignificant number of times where something negative, like a negative force will come in. And and even though I wish it didn't happen, even though I wish it wasn't there, it does tend to elucidate for me very clearly who really has my back and who doesn't. Um, It's happened many times throughout the history of my show and my career and everything. And so in some sense, you almost, it's like, it's like how God allows sin into your life or or I should say temptation (laughs) or bad, bad things or demons or Satan to operate in the world. It's like in the book of Job, you know, God lets the devil take from Job. I'm not saying that one-to-one here, but I'm saying the point that the world's very complicated place. We got it. No, I'm just kidding. What's up? I said big tech equals Satan. We got it. No, I'm just kidding. I was <laughs> <laughs> not quite, but, but you know, I mean there, but there are people who roll in and uh, bring with them a lot of negativity, but what they will do is it's catalyze people to respond in a certain way. And you, you kind of can tell what's going on. So, um, so I agree with you. I mean, there does seem to be a lot of anti America first sentiment coming from his live chat. And from right. His show. That's what I'm saying. I you mean, know, I saw people in there and they're like, know, Nick might be over now and like all this stuff and the stream and like, oh, is it over now? Like, it's just like complete. I'm like, what is this? Where, where am I? Like, this is ridiculous. I don't, I mean, there's one thing like to have an opinion or to like, man, I'm worried about something or this or that, but it's just complete and they're trashing Wurzel Root and they're doing this. And I mean, I don't know. I'd like to see a lot of people put the hostilities behind, you know, I don't want to, you know, there's fighting in other areas too. You know, that's true. When he says that, that's true. But I don't know. It's just got a different flavor. Yeah, and I don't really pay too much attention to that. If I'm being totally honest, yeah. I mean, I got my own stuff going on. But um, <laughs> yeah, you know, so I, I'm not really too worried about that yeah. sort of thing. But um, you know, I expect better from other people. That's I expect better from my friends, and uh, that's I think that's really all there is to say. So. You know, it's disappointing, but it is what it is. And, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know if there's really too strong of a resolution other than, you know, I I actually, (laughs) in some sense, the earlier critics were right. I should have just chosen my friends better. You know, some, some, I I guess a broken clock is right twice a day. Some of the critics, there's a lot of critics, a lot of criticism. Everybody holds me to a high standard, which makes sense. I'm the leader, but. You know, I suppose some of them are more right than others when they said, well, we don't like who's around you. We don't like you got to pick them more carefully. It's like, well, apparently, apparently I was true in a few cases, but, um, but I appreciate you, Ralph. And I'm glad to hear you're feeling better. I was worried about you. I know a lot of people were, uh, I know you've been going through some stuff yourself and it's good to see you're healthy. You sound a lot better. Your show looks better. So no, so that's good. Thank you, man. Yeah, I feel I feel great, and uh, it's been a while since I felt this good, actually. And you know, with some caveats there, you know, I don't have it. My 
you know, a few things I got put back together there, but uh, still, I'm I'm optimistic about everything and uh, feeling good. So thank you for that. And you know, I'm s- sorry it's kind of a you know, it was good to have you here on the show. I, we'll, uh, you know, I won't let you go to shit in a minute, but um, I hate that it's these circumstances, of course. But uh, it was good to have you on the show. I you know, um, obviously there's some other stuff going on too. I don't know if you want to talk about any of that stuff um, uh, with the. Uh, well, with the campaign and all that, but um, that might be for another time. I don't know if you want to get into that too, because that was another topic there. I guess um, some of the uh, what was it, the rave or whatever? I saw that, and uh, that might not be able to be spoken about though. So I don't want to st- step on any toes. If you don't want to talk about anything on that score, that's fine. Yeah, well, let's just say it's it's um it's definitely a dynamic situation. Let's just put it like that. <laughs> right. <laughs> going on <laughs> behind the scenes. Um and you know, I mean, I saw the rave like everybody else did. I don't care for seeing the cross on naked women like that. I'm not really it was a little tacky, yeah. Uh, that was a <laughs> not a. Well, I think ta- that's one way to. <laughs> yeah, it was a kind way to put it. it. You could say, <laughs> yeah. There's another word for it too, but I, yeah, the, yeah. So <laughs> you know, I've got to, I've got to evaluate a little bit because there's it's just some of the things that are, some of the things that are going on. Um, well, let's just say I'll, I'll have an update soon. We'll we'll see what happens, but. Um, but yeah, a little little dynamic. So I can't really speak too much That's on right. that at the moment, given sure. my position. But um, but I'll probably talk about it some whenever it's resolved. Whenever uh, you know, whenever I whenever I can, I right. should say whenever I'm able to give an update. So. That's right. And people keep in mind. There's certain things he can and can't say. And then I mean, you know, and there'll be a day for that to be said. But uh, I appreciate you giving me even that much. Uh, That's why I didn't. I didn't know if I wanted to touch on it or not. Um, but I'm, I'm glad I did. Um, and like I said, I, I appreciate you coming on. Um, I hate it was about this, but, um, you know, uh, unfortunately these things do happen, uh, in this, in this game. So, uh, sorry that it happened today, but, uh, you know, I'm always with you. So, uh, cozy.tv I'm here. Um, thanks for looking good to me. So, um, I, I appreciate you coming on tonight. If you want to say anything else, you can go ahead. Mm, I think that's everything. I got a collaboration coming probably tomorrow with Leafy. Uh-uh. So people can look forward to that. I'll be joining him tomorrow. I was about to literally just about to go live with him tonight. And then his internet got killed. Oh, shit. So, uh, <laughs> destiny probably at fault. I think destiny <laughs> sent a DDoS attack. So he's, uh, <laughs> he's, he's been disabled for the evening, but I think tomorrow, I'll be doing a stream with Leafy or whenever his next stream is. So be looking cool. forward to that. And then, um, yeah, I think that's about it. But, you know, that that's all I got for you. But thanks for Thank having you, me on. Good Appreciate to hear it, from you, buddy. Glad you're okay. And we're rooting for you. Hang in there. All right. And Thank you, uh, man. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Talk to you soon. Take it easy. Nicholas J. Fuentes, the all boss. Right. Take it easy, man. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.